Shabbat Shalom. In this week's Torah portion, after the portion talking about the purification process of the Pora Aduma, the red heifer, it goes on to tell us about the passing of Miriam, the subsequent lack of water, and the Jewish people complaining for water, Moses bringing back the water. It talks to us about the passing of Aaron and how subsequently to that there was a war that people attacked the Jewish people. Now our sages tell us that there's an interesting lesson here. The water coming from a rock was brought in the merit of Miriam, the sister of Moses, while the clouds of glory were, protect, were surrounding the Jewish people in the merit of Aaron. After Miriam passed away, the water stopped coming forth from the rock and Moses had to bring it back. However, we don't see anything about Moses bringing back the clouds of glory that, pa that left when Aaron passed away. And here is an interesting lesson. You know, I've been noticing today that, you know, American boy born in the end of the 60s, um, the COVID is really confusing to me. I've never had a time in my life nor an expectation that I would walk into any store and they just don't have products. There's shelves empty, certain products aren't there. I I'm just not used to that because I grew up that America has not only all our, all our needs, but all our wants and all our whims. And I never had to just settle for something that I wasn't wanting to buy. So I think about this story and our sages tell us that Moses brought back the water because that was a need. However, clouds of glory is not a need, it's a want. And for a want, you need to have merits. Moses, God has him provide us for all our needs, even without merits. But wants, that's something we need merits for. And what I'm learning from this COVID situation is that sometimes the purification process of self is when we're willing to forego wants, focus on needs, and rebuild who we are. Shabbat Shalom.